or 5th of May 2010, it was a general strike. One of the biggest and most uh, active and dynamic uh, general strike we had seen in Greece in the, in the recent years. They came down the streets ready to clash, ready to storm the parliament, ready to stop uh, the new austerity package, ready to stop uh, the loan, the country, the government taking a loan from IMF, EU and uh, Central European Bank. And the people start climbing the stairs which lead to the House of Parliament. In a way, trying to storm the parliament, actually. Eventually, that very day, three bank clerks uh, working in a bank uh, which uh, banned its workers from participating in the strike, died, got killed. They got killed from the smokes uh, coming from the burning of the ground floor of the bank branch where they were working. Slowly, gradually, you start seeing people actually retreating from their will and their own uh, intention to fight, to protest, to be on the streets and stop the austerity which was coming together with the IMF law. It is very interesting that this is the first reaction, which is very explosive, uh, very spontaneous, very, very originally social, if you wish, and happens 5th of May 2010, and it takes many months for something of, of, of something uh, which was as powerful to happen. Uh, so it was in December, during December strike, uh, that again we saw some powerful social reactions. <laughs> the political system was actually collapsing. After 5th of May, the changes are amazing. Going in Greece in early 2010, and in the summer of 2012 would be like being in a completely different place. Suddenly, the youth unemployment is over 50%. Uh, being in Greece these days, uh, it is a life, it is a hard life for the majority of the population, for the great majority of the population. Uh, people are losing their jobs, people are losing their homes, people are losing uh, hope. Migration looks like a, a solution for a lot of the young people. Uh, there are people who are desperate, there are people who literally are starving. Other NGOs, uh, like for example Doctors of the World, suggest that in Athens today we are in the center of Athens, it's in conditions of uh, humanitarian crisis. Yeme. Τόσο πολύ αγαλακτισμένο με ένα παιδί που μιλάμε σήμερα δέκα ετών. Το λέω και να κλείσω. Συμφωνώ με τον Θεό που μπορεί να σου κολλάει τα. Με του καριόλου δεν σπαγούμε σήμερα. Εσύ την έζησε στην κρίση λοιπόν. Ναι. Εσύ σε ποια κοινωνία ονειρεύεσαι να ζει. Να μπορώ να επιβιώνω. Θα μπορώ να βιβλιώνω, όχι μόνο εγώ, και όλος ο κόσμος. Η βιβλίωσή μας, όχι η εκμετάλλευση. Δεν θέλουμε να είμαστε στην Ελλάδα να κυβερνούν το κεφάλαιο, όχι στην Ελλάδα, σε όλο τον κόσμο. Το κεφάλαιο. Να είμαστε όλοι το ίδιο. Μια population που είναι rapidly impoverished, uh, people who are losing uh, 
everything that they had, everything they are used to, uh, people who commit suicide, you know, an implosion, uh, an implosion which is going on in Athens these days, uh, violence also in terms of everyday life, right? I mean, everyday life relationships are becoming more and more violent in um, violent these days. I mean, so, what you see on the streets, the publicly performed political violence, because this is the, the violence of the police is political violence is against the ones who resist to, to the government decision and the counter violence uh, if we can use this term used by the demonstrators to defend themselves from police brutality is as well political violence. The, the levels of this violence not only have increased but they are completely deregulated. Uh, they are deregulated in conditions that for example in June 2011 during the general strikes of 28th and 29th of June, more than 3,000 tear gas canisters were thrown in Athens. The migrant working class, uh, people with, which, who are not Greek passport uh, uh, holders, are the ones who have actually pushed uh, the lowest structurally lowest at the moment in, the, in, this, in, this, in these circumstances. And not only that, but they are also the big victims. Uh, they are a, a category which is a big victim of, of the current crisis because the rise of the extreme right targets them very directly. We are now foreigners in our country. Can you believe it? I am in the bus and I'm one person Greek and the driver. The rest are all foreigners. <laughs> While also police operations target them very directly, and while also government targets them very directly. Because at the age of crisis, it is very easy to start dividing the society. There is no, no best for the government. Division, uh, but between locals, indigenous, and uh, foreigners. During the elections of May 2012 and June 2012, Police officers serving in Athens, being on duty in Athens the day of the elections, voted very close to the police headquarters. Doing the necessary mathematical calculations, the people who are working on the election results suggest that, in the, that almost 50% of police officers being on duty in Athens the day of the elections voted for Golden Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Police in Greece was always divided from the society. Policeman was a very special category in Greece. Uh, why? Because the Greek state uh, had the violent apparatuses of the Greek state were always very politicized. They were always very right wing. Division between police and uh, the society has never been so wide, this, this gap. <laughs> that a great part of the society identifies more and more with radical, uh, with radical demands and more and more people in the Greek society take on the streets and start demonstrate, the police treats everybody as an enemy. The point is that these days, not everybody who ends up on the streets is necessarily left-wing or a left-wing activist. There are some of them desperate people pushed down during the crisis. Some of them are people who just have enough, who don't trust anymore the regime, do not trust anymore the system. And these people are targeted as the direct enemy by, by the police in days of everyday, of everyday violence. So the last few years there are no more illusions that actually police is um, an enemy of the society, of the society which is radicalized and demonstrated. <laughs> In the morning around nine o'clock there was this uh, guy you know above 70 years old that he he came here he just shot himself in the head 
while he was shouting, um, I don't want to leave debt to my children. The suicides in Greece are financial matters. So in fact we have people who just go desperate, who cannot anymore afford uh, the life, who, can, who see that they, are, they cannot take it anymore, and they just jump from a, from a roof or shoot themselves like Dimitris Christoulas did. I think that Dimitris Christoulas was a very uh, characteristic, a very, a very characteristic example of the people who suicide in Greece. A retired pharmacist uh, who lived a life as a small business owner with a university degree uh, and, and everything that everybody would expect, you know, a decent lifestyle and a decent level of, 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 of life. He was not somebody who would, you would expect that he would be poor, but in his letter he wrote that actually it is soon I will start searching for my own food in the garbage, in the rubbish. Um, and I think this is a very characteristic, uh, it's a very characteristic example uh, of, 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 the, of the people who commit suicide today in Greece. Uh, people who just are losing everything which they thought that have achieved. Τι άλλο θέλετε να πω. Εδώ πέρα τελειώσαμε. Η δημοκρατία εδώ πέρα έχει τελειώσει. Εδώ, στο δρόμο, το εδώ, στο πεζοδρόμιο. εδώ πέρα στο πεζοδρόμιο. Εμένα με κρουτσάκι και δύο κυνηγούλε και δύο κοπελίτε τη βαρέσανε. Εδώ. εδώ. Ούτε στο δρόμο, ούτε εκεί. Εκεί. Αυτή είναι η δημοκρατία του. Βαρέσανε δύο κοπέλε 18 χρονών που είναι κόρε μου, του ακούω μου δηλαδή. This is not democracy. This is bank democracy. dark period, within these dark times, uh, there are a lot of things which are, are, are emerging and in a way uh, are giving hope. There are at the moment in Greece 20, I would say, uh, non-monetary exchange systems, right? Uh, people start uh, self-organizing themselves in order to address the urgency of everyday life. What is the potato movement? The potato movement organizes the provision of food products, mostly potatoes but not only, which they buy them directly from the farmers without the intervention of brokers, supermarkets, etc. People start growing, start developing certain tactics in order to take care and, uh, by themselves uh, of, their, of their everyday life, what was manifest in the elections themselves, right? The fact that 40% of people of the voting body didn't bother to go and vote, didn't go to vote, implies that there is another anti-systemic world, a world completely outside uh, the parliamentary politics, the high politics, the elite politics, which is going on, it's unraveling today in Athens. And if, uh, unless this kind of anti-systemic force doesn't become bigger and doesn't develop more in ways that slowly to create a system antagonistic to the dominant one, I think the future of Greece is very dark. <laughs>